Let's do uh, pelvis and then the lateral hips. So pelvis, you're doing crosswise cassette. Mm -hmm. Does Ms. Ortiz have the, um, of the, the shoulder? Yeah, we should have some. Can you show us um, where the position is? Yeah, for your pelvis, you don't want to do the gonadal, because um, for the females, all your junk is up here. For the males, Concrete. Yeah. Do you use one of these when we put the hat in? Hmm? <coughs> no, I'd probably use something smaller to make it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I do, honestly, like, I would do this and just pull a piece of tape and just take it there. Because I've had it happen to me where my um, my shield kind of fell over a little bit. Yeah. And I shot and I was like, oh no, and I had to reshoot it because my I was trying so hard to protect the patient, I ended up having to reshoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically you just feel for the hip, sorry. Okay. Feel for the hip right here. You have stuff right here. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Let's see. Sorry. <laughs> so Chris is right here. Okay. Uh, two inches above, so like this. And then uh, can you injure your legs for me? Or your feet? Okay. And then I don't have my marker, but there's markers right there. Okay. I usually put my marker. And if this is hard for your patient to do, like old people, sometimes they can't really keep their legs um, inverted. Tape it. You could tape them, yeah. Or if a patient comes in, well, that's in the gray, never mind. Okay, forget it. Sorry. I'm going to say that the broken hip. Yeah, if they come in and their foot's already... Oh, don't, yeah, yeah, just don't move Okay, yeah, if the, if the patient comes in, chances are they won't be walking if they have a broken hip, but if they happen to come in and one of their feet are already like this, don't manipulate it because chances are they have a broken hip. This up. Right there. Um, open it up all the way, of course. Uh, check again. So, what, for the pelvis, which marker would you use? Like, say that's the right side, just use the right. I, I always just use the right side. Okay. If they're oh. facing up, I use I use right. Place it next to the right. Yeah, right here. Left, right. Don't use the, <laughs> the best thing to do is to place the mark marker that's closest to you uh -huh. so that you can um, just be, I guess, more faster positioning and putting your marker and whatnot too. Yeah, and, and actually, uh, if you're doing like a right hip, positioning the patient so that the right hip is closer to you. If, if, it, if, they're, if it's the left hip, then you would turn them around so, so the left hip is closer to you because you don't want to like bend over and Reach hurt your back. Then. Yeah, because that happens. Uh, so that's it for the, for the pelvis. To open up all the way, just like that. Okay. Any questions for the pelvis? That's the only view we're gonna do. Yeah, for pelvis. Collimation should be only be to your um, like a set, which, quite honestly, no, I think that's the most that your collimation might even open up. To. Just to pay. Sometimes you might have it depends on all the machines. Um, also, keep in mind that your make sure you check your SAD too. Sometimes if your SAD isn't like high enough. You may think that you have a smaller area of collimation, and you'll be like, oh, well, let me open it up more. But really, it's open as too much it should be. You're just not high enough. And you're looking at, and if the patient's like thick or tall, you're only seeing like what you think is being irradiated, but it's really a bigger spot because of the distance. Does that make sense? Am I confusing them? Is it going closer to the. Yeah, like if, if you have him closer up here, it's going to look like you have a smaller light field, but that's just because he's closer to the tube. So just because it looks like it's smaller may not be that it's, that's how big your light field is. It might be the size of your cassette still. Mm -hmm. So just uh, keep an eye to your your uh, build size. Okay, so you do this, and you make sure you have a collimation light on both sides, okay? And you go to the head, and make sure it's centered. Nice. Okay. It for the for the pelvis, okay. and then I'll do the, the hip there. So the hip, you don't need a pelvis, it's 17. Mm -hmm. I'll put the, the name like up there if it's for the right hip. And you do it lengthwise to the AP, it's pretty much the same thing as um, the uh, pelvis, but um, this, the top of the cassette would be at ASI, so it's right here, right? right here. Okay.
set. It's here. They can be invert. What is invert? Or rotate your. <laughs> Actually, you kind of like move them so they kind of don't. Like most most of the people are Spanish. I don't really speak. So just right there. And you learn to do sign language a lot. Mm -hmm. And then for the shielding, just the extra shield. Just if if you had already done the pelvis, then you would shield for this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So as long as it's on top of their body. Yeah, because it's not like it's it's you not like middle. It's kind of off to the side, or you can even <laughs> go like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then for lateral. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is how you normally should chill. Male, female, right? But since we're just getting this area, I'm just gonna go sideways on it because this is the area up here that I'm gonna protect anyways. I want babies one day. <laughs> okay, can you bend your knee for me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's all I could do. That's all you could do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to have you rotate towards me a little bit, okay? Why? Okay. I'm in so much pain already, and you're over here having me move all around. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? The patients are going to be in pain regardless. Just smile through it and say, okay. I mean, so same positioning. Okay. The ASLs. Top of the set. Like that. Make sure it's crosswise. Changing, changing your palmation to crosswise. And you can put your mark right there. Make sure your shield doesn't, you know, fall in. Okay. And um, if you're only doing an AP hip and a lateral hip, then you just uh, you you could you could shield for both, but mm -hmm. I would only shield for. Yeah, just make sure, like he was saying, because it could easily you know the patient moves and or you know what it's like he walks away and she does this and then yeah. it's or like, tape oh, tape okay. is good yeah. yeah I usually tape them mm -hmm. tape is your friend yeah always carry tape with you look they got hair huh. <laughs> no, it's not a waxing. Okay, that's, that's it. Horrible. So, so where would your CR be? Oh, I, I normally just open it up to 10 by 12 and just make sure the topic is set is at ASS. So he's already positioning, and at the very, very end, he just goes chain collimation line. So it goes line So R2 this. doesn't turn that way, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe it actually. Should. It should. the clinic should. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're at Dr. Corkins. This is good luck. Do it's two inches above that, or it's it's right at it. Um, ASI has yeah. top is is right at it. Oh. So so the top of the set yeah. up here would be mm -hmm. right at ASI. Uh, the thing with this one, they're not so much concerned with the crest or ASI. ASI is just ensuring that the acetabulum is being because this is the area where they're going to have a lot of trauma. Now, if I couldn't, if I was fine to turn yeah. into. The frog leg, and you can do do it that way too. Yeah. Any questions? So if you do have them remove their pants for this, mm -hmm. just in the underwear, you can yeah. still can you still put like a blanket over them or like a sheet Yeah, you over should. Them? You should always make your patient feel um, modest, you know. But um, just keep in mind because a lot of the men. They don't, women are more easier to get them to change or to, you know, oblige men. Oh, no, that's fine. I'll just pull down my pants. But then they're over here doing this thing when you're trying to position and their pants are stuck at their ankles and you can't really turn them out. So you're better off just getting them in a gown. Um, and for your own, for men too, by the way, I mean, so much for women, I guess, but make sure to double gown your female patients regardless of what exam you're doing. If they need to be in a gown, double gown them. If, if they're, yeah, if so they're... So one open in front, one open in back. And then their head on that side, this is there. Yeah. Yeah, if they're tall, get them uh, two gowns maybe, like a gown on top and then like another gown to say if you want to wrap around, just make them feel, you know, that they're going to be comfortable. Because if you have a patient that's already feeling awkward, they're not going to cooperate as well either. So don't, don't uh, make them mad and... Ooh, half crunch. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Any